all these people who are gathered when they hear Peter and the apostles preaching. Now, all of a sudden in verse 37 of chapter two, it says, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? And then this very famous response, Peter says unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. But that notion of being pricked in their heart, right? That's a really small thing, you know, yeah, a pinprick, like a pinprick right? right? Yeah, exactly. So this is the kind of small and simple thing that, that the church is built upon is the Holy Ghost pricking us in our hearts. And all of us can feel that. Shane and Marianne, what thoughts do you have as we talk about just how important it is to pay attention to those small, simple things as we try to create something wonderful. So it reminds me in chapter 22 of Alma, verse three, in the middle, he said, I have been somewhat troubled in mind because of the generosity and greatness of the words of thy brother Ammon. So because of that experience, it just plays in his mind and it softens his heart to the point that he's willing to listen to Aaron. And then big things happen from wow. that small seed that was planted from that experience. Any thoughts you have, Shane, on this as well? The end of 39, this is chapter two, verse 39, for the promises unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. I think that's telling that the Lord calls us to come unto his son through the medium of the Holy Ghost. And that promise is unto, it wasn't unique to those individuals, it's unto all who will listen to the calling of the Lord that comes through the pricking of the heart by the Holy Ghost. <laughs>